German shipbuilder Abeking and Rasmussen is showcasing this uh, interesting scale model. So it's an ongoing program, I believe, with the Indonesian Navy. With us is uh, Christoph Arndt, Sales Director of Special Vessels. Christoph, good afternoon. Thanks for welcoming us on your booth. Thank you, Xavier, for receiving us. And uh, yeah, indeed, it's a very special project and uh, exciting project because what you see here is actually becoming a reality. And uh, both ships uh, will be delivered uh, in about two weeks from now to the Indonesian Navy. And uh, we are quite proud of uh, supplying the vessels, but uh, I guess the, the Indonesian Navy is also proud of uh, receiving state-of-the-art mine hunting vessels from us. So what's, uh, what are the, some of the unique features of this uh, class of ship? I mean, unique, uh, you need to know that our company is, uh, is a family-owned company, company more than 100 years old, so we, we based on our history and the experience. So we delivered several mine hunting vessels in the past, but this is the next generation. So definitely the ship is made out of non-magnetic steel, so with all the benefits for operating in a, in a minefield and to perform the operation. Um, the ship itself is uh, roughly 60 meters long, but has all the uh, equipment inside to perform properly mine hunting operations. To, uh, for position keeping, um, the proper propulsion system, um, hull mounted sonar, um, uh, bow thruster, plus AUV, ROV equipment, data connection, so everything is there. Uh, I can't help uh, but notice the two smaller vessels on uh, either side of the hull, what, what are those? Yeah, that's the most recent development, which is standing for the innovation of our shipyard. This is uh, two unmanned surface vehicles. One is uh, dedicated for mine hunting, so to do classification, identification and finally neutralization. And the other USV is dedicated to do uh, influence mine sweeping, so in order to simulation of magnetic, electric and acoustic um, yeah, uh, fields. And both both ships will be based on the um, tr um, proven SWATH at ANR technology, so to have a very good and robust uh, seakeeping capability. Yeah. And uh, the larger MCM vessel can act as a model ship for the smaller ones. I see there's a large crane aft. Yeah, that's a good question. Actually, yeah, you're right. So uh, actually, the ship is designed as a platform. So both USV will be uh, loaded or will be um, transported on board this vessel and can be launched and recovered uh, with the ship's crane. Christoph, thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you. We are now with Kraken Robotics who's showcasing the catfish. And to learn more about it, uh, I am with uh, Dave Shea. Dave, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for welcoming us on your booth. So what, first, what is the, the catfish? So behind me here is the catfish or the Kraken active towfish. So this is a high speed mine hunting solution that we build here at Kraken featuring our synthetic aperture sonar or our MinSAS system. What makes it unique uh, compared to other similar uh, solutions? So the, the Kraken Catfish solution is really a turnkey high resolution seabed imaging system or seabed mapping system designed specifically for mine hunting and mine countermeasures. So this system is meant to work, it's a towed system first of all, meant to work on any vessel of opportunity. We can install it on unmanned or manned platforms. We have a number of systems in operation around the world. Uh, but specifically it's built to produce very high resolution imagery so we can do a two centimeter by two centimeter pixel image out to 200 meter range on either side or a 400 meter swath and we can operate that up to 10 knots. So hence the, the high speed because typical uh, system for uh, seabed mapping you have to do cruise at what four five knots? Yeah, traditional side-looking sonar systems or side-scan sonar systems, you have to sacrifice either speed or range when you're operating a system, or if you want to go to a higher frequency to get the resolution, you're going to have to reduce the effective area coverage rate of the system. The beauty of synthetic aperture sonar is that we can operate at a lower frequency but still maintain a very high resolution, and that resolution is constant regardless of range. So whether you're 20 meters away from an object or 200 meters away from an object, you get the same high resolution image of that target. All right. uh, Dave, can you name some of the existing users of the catfish? So we have a number of systems in operation around the world. Uh, the Danish Navy is one of our primary users. They use the catfish system on their unmanned surface vessels. Uh, we also work very closely with the Polish Navy. They use the catfish system on their cormoran mine hunters. And then uh, we're working with the Canadian Navy as well. 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We are now with Eurotorp, who is showcasing uh, the famous uh, Mu-90 lightweight torpedo. Uh, Guy, good afternoon. Thanks for welcoming us on your booth. Good afternoon. Thank you uh, very much for this interview. So can you please uh, first tell us uh, what's uh, Eurotop, what, it's, what is its uh, role? Yeah, sure. So Eurotop is a European consortium. It has been uh, created uh, 30 years ago. It was a decision from the French and Italian government to create a French-Italian uh, company in order to develop uh, a common global uh, lightweight torpedo program. So regarding the industry uh, work share, so Leonardo is 50% uh, of uh, Eurotop and for France, uh, Naval Group and uh, Antares. So once uh, that uh, was uh, put in place, uh, we have started the development of the mu 19 and we succeeded to, to develop what is the best reference, the unique lightweight torpedo on the worldwide scale. So we have had um, many uh, success. So today uh, we can say that uh, 13 navies are equipped with, uh, with the Mu-90. Some are NATO countries, some not. Uh, most of them are uh, top rank uh, level of uh, navies. Uh, France, Italy, uh, Germany, Australia, but also uh, more recently uh, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, uh, Emirates as well and, uh, and Greece. And what's the latest news uh, with the Mu-90 uh, program? We have uh, had uh, notified a big, uh, very big contract with OCAR for uh, France, Italy, uh, Germany and Australia. Uh, very important because it is the first time that Australia enters in, uh, in, in OCAR, in a program. So it's very, very important for the community. Otherwise, we have uh, uh, decided uh, in Eurotop and its members to, to give uh, a new boost to, uh, to Eurotop that was decided last year. Uh, two main axes for that. The first one is the commercialization of the community on the worldwide scale. That is why we are today here in a in index and the second very important axis as well is to uh, propose a uh, research and development roadmap. Uh, however, main objective in Eurotop uh, is always to, to keep at the top level of performance the Mule 90. That is the case today, but uh, we, if, if we don't invest now, the competitors and uh, other navies could have uh, some uh, uh, performance uh, torpedoes as well. So we want to keep the uh, the, the, the best performances for our navies in order for them to always have an uh, operational advantage. That is very important for, for your job. Alexi, can you tell us about the technical specification of the Mu-90? As you may know, the Mu-90 uh, lightweight torpedo is the best performing uh, lightweight torpedo on the market. It has been originally uh, developed to meet the stringent operational requirements of both uh, French and Italian navies so that the weapon system would be able to cope with all the threats that you can encounter underwater uh, during the 21st uh, century. The weapon system is uh, capable of defeating any kind of a submarine ranging from deep diving, fast evading uh, nuclear submarines up to the uh, mid-jet uh, type uh, submarines or uh, underwater and mined uh, vehicles evolving in uh, very shallow waters. Can you share with us some of the performance figures? With more than 12 kilometers uh, at uh, maximum speed of uh, range, so the maximum speed being beyond uh, 50 knots, you have this standoff uh, engagement uh, capability, which is twice as uh, the competition. Regarding the lethality of the weapon, uh, it is the only uh, lightweight torpedo uh, which is fitted with a shape charge which uh, grants any submarine destruction at any uh, operational depth. It has been proven able to penetrate any kind of double hulled, including double hulled reinforced with titanium. Uh, it has also adaptability built uh, in its design uh, to make it evolve in accordance with the operational uh, requirements and also the evolving SW uh, threats. The first uh, add-on functionality that uh, Eurotorp has uh, engaged in line with uh, our parents uh, authorities is the hard kill uh, functionality from surface ship. This uh, feature will be unique in its kind because it will provide on this effector, so 
from one single effector, a dual capability, anti-submarine warfare and hard kill capability, so I mean anti-torpedo torpedo. -torpedo. Uh, this uh, will be unique uh, on the market and uh, the program uh, has already been uh, activated. The operational advantages will be multiple for the users' navies because uh, they will not have to change any of the existing uh, launching systems on board uh, the platforms. Uh, they will have uh, one single effector providing uh, defense capability against uh, submarines or heavyweight torpedo uh, threats and also the capability to, to shift in uh, offensive deliberate attack uh, mode. The threats uh, that will be treated in uh, hard kill mode will be uh, all the heavyweight torpedo for which there is uh, no possibility of avoiding uh, today uh, such as advanced uh, heavyweight uh, acoustics uh, torpedo, auto-guided or uh, wire-guided, uh, but also, uh, which is very important, the wake-homing uh, torpedoes for which there is absolutely no parade existing uh, on the market. The time frame for this program is uh, five years and uh, we are very confident in line with uh, both French and uh, Italian uh, authorities uh, to, uh, to develop and qualify uh, the system including sea trials against uh, real targets uh, at, the end of the, at the end of the process.